Hello everyone, and welcome back to Dragon Quest 3. Okay, so I've done a little bit of grinding. All the other characters are level 12 and I'm level 10, so I guess now we can get on with the game. Okay, where are we going? Romaria. Very unsubtly taking the name from um, what were we doing here, though? I don't know if we actually went into the castle. I guess we'll find out. Okay. He's a whistler, he's French, it's fine. Ciao, friend. You're a visitor from Aliahan? Si, perfecto. We have been waiting for you. Do you have? That's weird. Okay. Ilri, the king, he waits for you. Go to him, Avanti. Are you ever troubled by paralysis? Not really. Her Majesty would ask a boon of you, friend. Will you hear him? I hear songs of the wind, friend. Would you like to hear them too? Sure. Oh, far, far to the west of Korov in the north standeth the Skyfell Tower, which doth our castle dwarf. Tan Taran Tan Taran Ta. Okay, weirdo. My countries tell me, my, my courtiers tell me that Aliahan is a place of great beauty. Tell me, is their beauty in the hearts of its people too? Sparrow Dissy, I hope it is so. Well met, Scion of Ortega. Your reputation precedes you. Lotto, you have another one. Okay. I guess. But I'm here for that boon. Whatever that is. Now, there is something I must ask of you. That despicable brigand Robin Hood, Robin Hood <laughs> has stolen from us our most sacred and regal crown. Were you able to return it to us, you would prove yourself a true hero. Go forth, Lotto, and may luck travel with you. Cool. I don't know where he went. It's just gone, and it's just like, go on, find it. Ridiculous. Okay, I guess we talk to some townspeople and find where Robin Hood went. Oh, we're not going in there. Leave it out, will ya? How many times do I have to tell ya? I don't know no Robin Hood. I've never even heard of the bloke. Yeah? Who the heck are you? I thought you was another of them guards come to give me a grillin. If they've got it in this bad for me, who knows what they'll do to old Robin Hood if they catch him. What's that? Where are ya? No, where is he? Up Skyfell Tower, I heard. I'm an... his gang of horrible henchmen. I'm in his gang of horrible henchmen. Give him a hiding from me, will ya? Sure, once I'm done translating your dribble. Okay, so north to a thing, and then west, I believe? Based off that song that was sang in the king's chambers? Whatever, it doesn't matter. It's irrelevant. We're getting stuff done. I'm pretty sure we have a decent amount of money, too. Man, that whip is good. I haven't actually played further than this in my personal save, because I kept restarting it so I could also mirror this playthrough and have a merchant and a thief, and them all have the ideal personalities as well.
think I'm only level 8 in that playthrough, but I'm getting there. Just haven't really had time to sit down and play games for myself lately. I mean, I guess technically this is, but, you know, I'm doing this for a reason, not just to chill out and play games. You know, I think after I finish this, I will start Final Fantasy Dimensions, and then I'll do Final Fantasy Dimensions 2, and then I'll go back to Dragon Quest. And the reason for that is, um, after Adventures of Mana, and Dragon Quest, and Final Fantasy Dimensions, and another Eden, I feel like I will have tapped out the mobile platform for games I feel are worthwhile to play. At least for a while, you know. Also, um, Final Fantasy Dimensions seems to have... Seems like on later versions of Android, it's going to have problems working properly, so I really want to do that soon, because I can do Final Fantasy 1 whenever. But if Android goes too far in progression, I'm not going to be able to play Final Fantasy Dimensions. Or Final Fantasy Dimensions 2. And these issues are so prevalent that right next to where I installed it, Square just straight up issue a refund if it doesn't work. So, yeah. That's got me in a bit of a panic, because I do genuinely want to get those games done. Because I don't know what the story is. Maybe they're awesome. Ooh, new town. Welcome to the mountain village of Krorib, brave traveller. Why, thank you. To north... Of, to north from village is another village, village of Norvik. To west from village is Tower of Tower of Name Skyfell Tower. We have fine location, yes, I guess. In years past, oh, God damn it! In years past, poison needle is sold in shop of village. Is a great weapon, even in hands of weakling, can strike weak spot of foe and decrease and decease instantly. Here sleeps great martial artist. Stories tell of his punching head of bear completely off. I wish I can become like him. Me too. But can we grave rub? Ooh, a mini metal. Oh well. Many metals better than better, better than nothing. What do you got for me, buddy? We got sixteen hundred bucks. Not as much as I thought, but let's see. Okay, we got iron claws. No one can equip. Steel broadsword. Yeah, we're definitely gonna get that. Chain whip. Ooh. Genuinely tempting. Iron armor. Man, this place has heaps of stuff I need. You know what? I'm gonna go the chain whip. I really want that broadsword, but... I'll give it to Akina. And then we'll go to Akina's items. And we'll give the thorn whip to... Aaron. And then we'll go to Aaron and we'll give the Iron Lance to Lotto. It all worked out. Okay, what were you equipped, Lotto? A chain sickle, a divine dagger. Do we have those in our bag? Fine. Yep, that means I can sell them. Wait, do we 
have anything in the bag that we can sell. Nope. Alright. What are the armors looking like? Expensive. We need two. No one can equip yet. Scale shields. We could equip one. Um, I'm going to leave that actually. I'll grind after we record this episode. Because the first thing I'm going to save for is that steel broadsword. Yeah, I definitely want like two of those. But now we've got two whip users in our party, so that means we've got two characters that can attack um, entire groups of enemies. I came here in pursuit of that rascal Robin, Robin Hood, but he's nowhere to be found. The villagers say he ran off to hide atop some tower somewhere. Really? Nothing of interest, and also nothing of interest. I think from here I'll head north. A pair of boxer shorts. Yoi! Please, beloved customer, you are coming into this place is vexatious to me. Okay, I'm pretty sure he's a bank. As I told you, foolish man, villagers angered fairies and were punished with sleep. Travelers tell of a village of perennially, perennially sleeping people. People that sleep a lot, but this is not possible, yes. How is this to be believed? Village, no, welcome to drinking place of village. Please, you must recline and unbend tranquilly. Okay, I saw that staircase up. Hell yeah. Are you in search of my mom, my momka and popka? Then please return to evening time. Return in evening time. Okay. A fur hood. Cool. I'm gonna give it to Aaron, cause uh, yeah, she's got a lot less defense. Okay, it's very obvious to me that it's time to organize items into the bag and sort the bag's contents by type. Okay, we're good. We're good. I do want to come back in night time though after that kid said that because it kind of makes it seem like, I don't know, something good might happen. So I'm going to head north. Man. Illa Pillar. You know what, I was going to head to this town, and we are right there, but it's also nearly night time, and I want to speak to these people at night time. I like that there's a day-night function, because it effect effectively doubles the amount of um, quest possibilities and stuff like that. It lets you... it lets um, Square Enix... Um, reuse a town, essentially, so you can have people that appear... Oh my god. Have Square Enix have some people that appear only at night. What the hell? Um, no. Damn knights. There we go. 
Um, is that guy just dead and there's a skeleton there? No, he's sleeping. I am great martial artist, of whom rumors tell that I punched completely off head of bear. But rumors lie. In fact, completely sliced off head of bear with one stroke of iron claws. Yeah, ha ha. That's the part where you give us a free one, you jerk. You won't escape me much longer. Mmm, villain. Curse you, Robin Hood. Ugh, village shop is concluded for today. Curses. The rumors of drinkers say that in the forest to the west from village are dwelling hidden fairies. Such fantasy. Eek, please explain. Please, to be leaving hastily, my husband will see. Ah, oh, apologies. I fear I spoke loosely in my sleep. Okay, so I guess that was our hint that the fairy, the, the fairies, the fairies are out. Um, where, which direction was it again? West. Everything is west. Okay, that's fine. Let's head to the town to the north. Bull Mustiff. I am really looking forward to Aaron becoming a sage. Sleepy village. Oh, that's right, they're all cursed, aren't they? A leather kilt. Another Dragon Quest classic. Oh, actually, you know what? Screw this, I'm equipping that. I have regrets, actually. I probably should have given that to Aaron. Ah, uh, where is it? Leather kilt. Yeah. Or Kane, but Kane's about to get some much better stuff. Okay, we are good. I guess these people are just going to stand here in the open and not ever talk to us. Yep. Is there anyone that can talk through the fairy's curse? This guy's moving. Oh, I'm having no idea who you might be, but you must return the Dreamstone for us to the fairies, yes? If you are not finding and returning it, all the people you see will be cursed to sleep forever. The fairies dwell in a small village hidden in the woods by a cave that is west from here. Please help us. Okay, where's this dreamstone? Because that would be like the first thing to do. I'm just going to quickly zoom back to home. And 
taking that. Taking it right here. Ah, uh, yes. Now, let's head back to Norvik. During the day, too. Well, they are all still asleep. But is there a way for me to get the damn Dreamstone? Ooh, Seed of Strength, I'll take that. Great, now I have wall sacks to look through. <laughs> I don't know if I should do this first. In fact, I think I should not do this first because these enemies are clearly stronger. Oh, goody, a uh, big old angry crabid. Thankfully, they only look scary. Yes, I definitely have some grinding to do again, immediately. I can't wait until she actually starts attacking, or turns into a sage and she doesn't screw around anymore. That also will be good. Thank you for doing no damage. Wow. Useless. Jeez, it would be chaos trying to start a game with three, um, gadabouts. The male gadabouts are clowns. Butterflies don't have to worry, killer pillars don't have to worry. Okay, I think we should be good down here. That's what we're looking for. Fast, what did I see? A temple. Mm. Maybe not right now, but soon. Soon. Let's see if we can knock this place out in this episode. Hopefully. I won't hold my breath, but hopefully. I don't mind going a little bit longer if we can actually get it done. That'll grind me up some money in the process too, so we can get some new armor so the next place won't be such a bitch. <laughs> and it is such a bitch. This is also the last recording for the day, so I don't mind if it goes a little bit over, because after this, I get to sit down and fight the Giant Lord a hundred times to prepare for playing more Dark Souls with Ark. This here is Skyfell Tower, famed for its Ed Spinner Knights. Cool. Story. Bro. Why are you so crap, Aaron? I think it's just a stats. That's what a gadabout is about. 
Yeah, let's have a look at her stats. So, 32 versus 10, yeah. She's got garbage strength. That 150 lock to my 11. Yeah. And she gets to keep half of it too, so it's going to be worthwhile. That was probably worth it. It was nearly 500 bucks. Then again, I don't leave chests behind anyway, so... It was getting opened one way or another. Okay, Lotto should probably heal himself. A decent amount of um, MP together there, Lotto. Considering you're only level 10. Nice. Careful not to fall off the side, but with some luck, this won't be a very tall tower. Wow, Aaron, you actually did something for once. I appreciate that. I don't know if I'll go straight into uh, um, Dragon Quest 4 when I head back to Dragon Quest, because I really want to do Dragon Quest 9. I've already got the save file waiting for when we finish the prologue. This place has been home to the world's great bandits for generations. Ah, just feel the history. Okay, random dude in a random room, just chilling. I might use a holy bottle. <sighs> of course someone had to get poisoned at the last moment, huh? Oops, that one. Items. Bag. Antidote hub. Jeez, I'm glad I weren't stocked up on healing beforehand. Um... I'm sure there's a whole bunch of rooms we haven't searched yet, but... I can always go back and do that once I figure out how high the tower actually is. And it's looking like we might be at the top of it now. Come on, Vladdies. Vladdy Duddies. You were really determined to kill that one, weren't you, Aaron? Well done. 
Oi, you lot. Looks like we got us some unwanted guests here. Just what we need. We'd better let the boss know. Alright. I have a feeling that's going to be a boss fight, and also I'm getting Lufia vibes from this area. Probably because of that pirate tower. And Lufia 1. There we go. That'll do. Fair play to you. You done all right making it this far, but if you think you're gonna catch me that easily, you got another thing coming. See ya. Nyahaha. And they took their treasure and bailed. Really? They took their treasure and bailed? They just... Gah, you don't give up, do ya? Well, if you're so bleeding desperate for a piece of Robin Hood, I'll give you one. Come here, you. <laughs> okay, I'm going to attack Robin Hood. Ooh, who just got wrecked? Might have been me. Kane, actually. Jeez, dude. Oh my god, I should have healed myself. What did I do? Heal me. It's weird having the main character be the dedicated healer for now. Damn, not enough MP. Well, we're pretty much going to have to go for broke then. Oh, Akina, you've got four health. Well, there goes Akina. Oh, and Aaron decided it was time for a nap, I guess. Well, there's Lotto. Alright, actually, I've decided that I'm going to end the episode here. So, um, if you like what you saw, like, comment, and subscribe. Ring that notification bell to stay up to date with episodes. And until next time, you've been watching Dragon Quest III, The Seeds of Salvation on Dude Go Back. I do plan to do a fair bit of grinding in between now and the next episode. So next time, we will spank that thief good. Alright, thanks for watching, everyone. <laughs>